Celebrities behaving badly is nothing new. Money, power, and a general lack of privacy can do odd things to a person. But can you think of one who has had more of a public image shift than Justin Bieber? Even celebrities like Charlie Sheen, Miley Cyrus, Lindsay Lohan have all had some issues with their behavior and image. But Justin really takes the cake on this one. He was once just a sweet little Canadian lad on YouTube, and now he's sort of a menace to society. Keep watching to hear more about the douchiest things he's done, and hold on to your hats because this video is going to get weird. Once Justin and his dad hotboxed a private jet to the point where the pilots needed oxygen masks, could you imagine accidentally getting your private pilot so high that they would need oxygen masks? On that same flight, the Biebs apparently also harassed a woman working on the plane to the point where she was forced to hide from him. Gross, dude. Remember when Justin went on a hiatus from music and then came back with the single Yummy? Yeah, you got the yummy, yum, the yummy. Well, you may not remember that because the song was not great. Not only were the lyrics just confusing and odd, the song itself is not fun to listen to. But Justin was not about to let his comeback fail. No, no, no. What did he do? He began harassing his fans, asking them to play the song on repeat, buy it on multiple websites, and even FaceTimed with some fans and spent the whole time just asking them to be better fans and support the new song. Can Biebs ever just re the room, he has also proven that he will treat anyone with very little respect. When a neighbor of his asked him to drive more carefully, Justin literally spit in the man's face and threatened his life. Justin was driving over 100 miles per hour within his gated community, and he threatened someone's life because the man asked him to slow down. That's not the only time he spat at someone. In 2013, he was also accused of spitting on a group of fans off of a balcony. What is it about spitting on people, Justin. When has that ever been necessary? Smoke weed, I, was, I don't suggest this, but I was 13. 2013 seemed to be a bad year for him. In March of that year, he was performing in Germany and somehow acquired a pet monkey. However, when he went to bring the monkey home, he didn't have the documents needed to do so. The monkey was seized and placed in a shelter until the situation could be amended. And instead of just getting the paperwork he needed, Justin decided to just leave the poor thing at the shelter in Germany. The monkey has since been given to a zoo in Europe. We hope that little guy is doing okay. Honestly, he's better off. Justin is clearly not responsible, so who knows if he would have taken care of the pet anyway. In 2014, Justin was in Miami and decided that it would be a good idea to take some pills, smoke my and have a few drinks before drag racing his Lamborghini in the middle of the night. Justin was arrested for this. His mugshot says it all. His smug smile makes it very clear that he had no remorse for his actions and did not consider the danger he put himself and everyone around him in. The list goes on and on. Think you've heard the worst of what Justin has done? Think again. Just kind of hanging on, wanting stuff from me knowing that like once justin and his crew decided to go indoor skydiving in vegas sounds fun right well justin failed to show any sort of respect for the business and even ended up leaving without paying apparently the group showed up made a huge disastrous mess in the bathrooms they all got to skydive and then justin was given the option to share an instagram post in lieu of payment to help the business grow the owner was nice enough to give him this option i imagine that indoor skydiving Skydiving isn't cheap. Instead, Justin took the photo and pretended to post it and then left without actually doing so. Come on, man. He didn't even tip the staff. What a loser. He's now banned from that establishment for life. What about now? Not yet. In 2015 at Coachella, Justin threw a fit because he was denied access to the restricted section of Drake's show. Justin told security that he needed to be allowed in, despite the area being full to capacity. Security was not having any of that, and when Bieber threw a fit, they put him into a chokehold. In this case, Justin and his crew ended up leaving voluntarily. At least once, he seemed to make a better decision. That could have gotten a lot worse. Justin and I were never really in each other's lives until he chose to get 
sober. And in 2016, he was back to his old ways. He was in Brazil on his way to perform and a fan tried to reach through his car window. Instead of letting his security team handle the situation, Bieber decided to punch the man in the face. Classy. He's also a racist. Surprise, surprise. And not just a diet racist who refuses to use his influence to help marginalized communities. Nope, he is a stone cold racist and once told a joke using the n-word as the punchline. Great. Did you think the rest of our list wouldn't include any physical altercations? Ha. Huh. For the most like young girls though back in the day, it was like we don't want to see Justin Bieber. In 2017, Bieber once drove his car into a photographer. Yes, you heard that right. He straight up ran over the paparazzo. And it was all caught on camera. That happened years ago. How on earth did he get out of trouble for that? And of course, this wasn't the first time he attacked a photographer. He once verbally and physically assaulted a paparazzo in London outside of the hotel he was staying at. In that instance, he needed to be dragged away by his own bodyguard is hard for him to understand people's motivations. If there's one thing that I've known about Haley. And yet another time he punched a photographer in Paris. Dude is violent. And in a very dangerous combination, he's also entitled, rich, powerful, and disrespectful. Once in a sort of weird power play, he walked off stage in the middle of a concert because the fans were too rowdy. Can you imagine that? Paying so much money to go see him perform live and then he just dips halfway through. In his apology to his fans, he described the situation as an injustice. Not that he created an injustice by robbing fans of the show they paid for, but that he was offended that the fans were screaming too loudly in between songs. Okay, Justin, it's really a miracle he has any fans left. Cares about me so much. She would just love the fact that I'm happy doing what I love. What do you guys think? Should Justin even be upheld in the spotlight anymore? He doesn't seem to care if he has fans or not. He certainly doesn't treat them well. And it's a shame because the Beliebers were once a very tight knit fandom, and Justin did seem to care about them when he was younger. Just goes to show money can do strange things to people. Are you a Justin Bieber fan? If you are, tell us why you still are. If you used to be, tell us if we missed anything in this video. We're sure there is more that this man has done. Which of these offenses were the worst? We think animal abuse and physical abuse are the worst, but it is a toss up really. He's done a lot of racist, sexist, and other troubling things. Before you go, don't forget to leave us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you all in the next one. This is a studio workplace and you're disrupting me. That is not cool. And then I started smoking weed for a while. And then started getting And the third song is my daughter Haley. The third song is yeah. I think it would just go without saying that my position on maybe the path he was going down, but at the same